Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. Today I would like to talk about our new service that we offer for anyone who would like to learn, test or play around in Dynamics 365 for operation environment. We offer free of charge access to a demo environment that runs on our powerful virtual machines from our website. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to open a new web browser page. I'm using Chrome right now, but you can use either Edge, Safari or uh, Firefox, whatever browser that you prefer. I'm on the homepage for nextonconsulting.com. On the toolbar on the top, you can see a free Dynamics 365 menu item. I'm going to click on that. You will see a new page that shows the technical specifications for our virtual machines. If you scroll down, you will see different uses of that free Dynamics 365 environment that we do provide. So you can use it to learn new functionality. You can use it to test, troubleshoot any problems for uh, any clients of yours, or you can use it just to demo it to your prospects or to your existing clients. Uh, our environments are fully loaded with demo Contoso data. So you will see all the demo setups, all the different legal entities, basically everything you need to successfully learn, test or demo. If you scroll a little bit down here, you will see some help that we find useful to help people to navigate it. At first, we're going to explain how it works, what kind of login information you need to use, what kind of uh, web addresses you need to go, etc. So I have three options. So we have three virtual machines available to you. If a person is using a virtual machine at the moment, you will see a sign as busy set on this particular button. So you know that this machine is not currently available because there is another user that is currently using that virtual environment. I'm going to click on the third environment. For example, again, those are all identical environments that offer the same functionality. So I'm going to click on this button that says connect Dynamics 365 VM. And what's going to happen is I'm going to go to a new page and this page will open and you can see that it already has some sort of um, web page open for us to just start it from a clear start. I'm just going to close it and pretend I'm seeing a brand new empty desktop uh, right here. You can also, if you prefer, take it to a full screen mode. Again, depending on your browser, it may be available here. So I'm going to click on the menu uh, for my Chrome here and I'm going to click on this button right here and it's going to take me to my full screen mode. So I am operating on this virtual desktop that has fully loaded Dynamics 365 on it. To access it, we suggest either to use Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. Either or would work. So I'm going to use a Chrome, double click on the icon and here I see a, an empty screen. What you can use here is you can use our uh, shortcuts or you can tap in that address. You can just tap in letter U and you will see the address is populated because we logged in to that address from all three of our virtual machines. So it's already populated here. You can also see this link under bookmarks and it's right up here. So we see one bookmark, which is for bill of materials. So it's going to take you to that specific screen. But if you would like to start with a home screen, we can just going to use that address that you see right now on your screen. So I just typed in the letter U, the address get populated. So all I need to do now is press enter. While it's loading and depending on the use, it's really uh, quite powerful in our experience. Now we need to log into iDynamics 365. Because we already used it to log in, we suggest you to use Susan from Contoso Environment who is set up with all the admin rights. So you're not going to miss on any functionality. So I'm going to click on Susan as a login. Password is already populated, but if you don't have it or it's been erased for some reason, the password is as follows. Let me just open a separate tab here. The password is capital P A S S number one capital W O R D. So that's a password that you can use to log in as Susan. But in all of those three environments, the password may have been already typed in for you. So all you need to do now is click on sign in. And this will take you to Microsoft Dynamics 365 for operations. From here, we're going to see our home screen with all the workspaces with all the different modules and from here on you're free to do whatever you prefer test learn demo it's really up to you let me just show you the performance of that thing 
So I'm gonna go, for example, to accounts payable, and I'm gonna load uh, all the vendors in USMF legal entity. So here's our vendors, loads pretty quickly. I'm gonna click on air carry right now to open the, open the card. So here you can do any different things. Again, you have an admin access, so everything from purchasing, customer service, retail, production, project management, everything is available for you to use. Keep in mind that if you would like to have a free access to uh, Dynamics 365 for sales or Dynamics 365 for uh, customer service apps, if you would like to have an access to Power BI demo, we also offer a SharePoint, you can all get it through our website. All you need to do is, and I'm gonna do it from this virtual machine, navigate to Next Tone Consulting. We're gonna search for it. So here's our website. And if you would like to have more information, just click on the free Dynamics 365 environment. And if you'd like to have an access to more demo systems, which we have available, we're working on making Power BI, different sales apps like Project Human Resources, uh, Dynamics X 2012. We are working on making it available to you for free. You can just scroll all the way to the bottom of that page and you can just enter details asking for specific software access that you need. That is all for today. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you find it informative. Until the next time.